Curious how to build a yurt? Here's how we built our Pacific Northwest Yurt Oasis. After trolling Zillow for a while, we found this acre and a half of land that was the perfect blank slate. In part one, I will show you how we built the platform, which is the foundation a yurt sits on. To start, we dug 22 holes, which was difficult with this dull tool. Then we cut sono tubes to fit them into the holes that we dug, making sure that they fit perfectly level. Then we filled each one of those tubes up with cement. After placing steel brackets in each one, we had 22 footings ready for us to build a frame. First, we cut 4x4 posts to be perfectly level. Then we cut and assembled the beams for the platform frame. Thankfully, we had a ton of help from family, which came in super clutch. Once the framing was done, it was easy to start visualizing the space our yurt was going to be in. We were super excited. Next, we picked up the SIP panels, structured insulated panels which make up the floor of the yurt. These things were heavy and we had to lay each one out like big puzzle pieces so we could figure out how to assemble them on the platform frame. We gave all of the exposed wood a coat of exterior paint just to give it a little more protection against moisture before we fastened everything together on the frame. Next, we cut kerfing, which is the border that goes around the edge of the platform to create a perfect circle. Cutting the wood like this allows it to bend in a curve, which makes installing it in the sit panels so satisfying. After getting the last of the kerfing installed, we were so excited. We couldn't believe we were done with the platform and ready to install flooring. And yes, it is weird that you install interior flooring before putting up the yurt, but you'll see why soon. We decided to use a luxury vinyl plank, which really protects against moisture in the Pacific Northwest. It was really cool just to be able to lay the flooring all the way to the edge of the platform and then use a router to cut it off and make a perfect circle ready for yurt raising. Stick around for part two to see us raise the yurt!